Today I'm going to show you four cool tricks you can practice at home. Okay, so this first one hasn't really got anything to do with table tennis, but it's a cool party trick and all you need is one table tennis ball. So the idea is to create a trap of air between your hands, so when you hit it, the ball will pop out and it makes a cool sound. And this one is actually not that difficult if you know the technique. So the first step is to wrap your fingers around the ball so no air can slip through. Once you've found the grip, you create a cup with the rest of your fingers. The most important thing is not to squeeze the ball hard, it just has to be really gently on top just so it covers everything. Otherwise it won't come off when you hit. But if it's gently there, it comes off. Another thing is, you don't hit it with your hand. The hand isn't hitting the ball in the air, it's the pressure that pops it out. So all you need is a gentle tap if you have the right grip. So this next one is actually quite good practice for ball control. The idea is to roll the ball onto the other side of the racket without the ball bouncing. And of course if you're a beginner there's a lot of easy variations if you want to start off with these. And basically anything you do with the racket and the ball is good practice for control. So you can come up with whatever variations you want. Okay, so this one won't make you a better table tennis player, but it makes you into a cooler table tennis player. So all it is, is just one spin on your finger. And to do this, you give speed with your wrist and just spin it over and catch with your thumb. It's also important to spin it counterclockwise because if you spin it clockwise, it's a lot harder to catch. Yeah, no, doesn't work. So you spin it this way. And if you want to take it further, you can do the double spin. Triple spin. It's maybe best to practice this on top of something soft. Maybe this isn't so use useless after all. You could come up with a cool serve to fool your opponent or something. <laughs> or maybe not. This one is quite hard to do, but if you can generate spin, it's not that hard to catch it with your nails. If you want to practice putting spin on the ball, you can do it, for example, on the table. Just get below the ball and hit it to the side. This is also a really good practice for controlling the ball and understanding how spin works. So with your nails you form a sort of circle. You don't even need to use all five fingers, I use four because it just feels more natural. And after that, all you need to do is to catch it on your nails. And if you want to put even more spin on the ball, you can throw the ball at the racket and then catch it. This is also a pretty useful way to check if the ball is round, because if the ball is round, it's not going to wobble, it's going to have a smooth spin and it also you can hear it from the sound. So, for example, this ball is really bad. It wobbles. And this one is good. It's a clean spin. So I hope you guys learned something and got some fun ideas to practice. Until next time. Triple spin. Ah, oh, so close. One, two, three.